Hey, hey citizens. citizens. Hey, citizens. We need your help. The Water Heroes Academy is back. With five new water projects in five different cities. Led by five inspiring groups of young leaders. Each project is educating their community on water issues through the power of football. So they can help solve the water issues their cities face. This year's projects still need your vote. Who will win a VIP Man City visitor to their project? It's up to you. See ya, nobody! Choose, Choose your water, water hero. hero. Vote now. The club and city is known to be the home of the happiest people with its vast culture and amazing historical landmarks. Despite this reputation, the city is grappling with several water crises. The water issues that I noticed in my community include inadequate access to clean drinking water and inconsistent water supply, primarily due to water contamination because of improper garbage disposal. My role as a young leader is crucial in raising awareness of water issues in my community. And by raising awareness and advocating for clean water and sanitation, we can create a healthier and more sustainable environment for everyone. Together with our young leaders, we have coordinated with local communities and key stakeholders to investigate the current water crisis here in Tacloban. Through our consultations, we have developed a comprehensive curriculum that utilizes the power of football and play to educate children and youth about the various water challenges within their communities. This emphasizes the significance of water conservation and how young people can actively contribute to conservation efforts. Our primary goal is to promote good water hygiene and sanitation practices within their families and ultimately contributing to a healthier and more sustainable environment. They gain a deeper understanding in the importance of water conservation and become more empowered to impact their communities positively. My name is Masimwachi. I'm from Kibera Slums, Nairobi, Kenya. The biggest problem in this slum is water. Water is like the root of everything. We need water to cook, we need water to clean, bed, everything. Most of the household, they don't have water. And when they have that water, you'll find that it is very scarce. Life has not been that easy because lacking water, everything is wrong. In this slum, the population is very high when it comes to disposal of those sanitary towels. They just threw everywhere. When that happens, you'll find that the entire environment is not clean. In the past years, the pipes were broken. Maybe people are so reckless and careless on how they handle them, not knowing that if they break the pipes, the water will be dirty and people will consume that water and the results will be sicknesses. Every time a girl is experiencing her menses, she needs water to drink, to clean herself. Most of us we use those reusable pieces of clothes, so when it comes to cleaning, it is very difficult. We are using football drills to create awareness, tell people about how to overcome or solve the water challenges. 
we've shown the society how to, to use clean water, how to reuse water, when to dispose water, and ways of treating water. The youth that we are teaching, they want to know more about how they can use water and how they can tell their parents, their siblings, their neighbors, not to misuse water. The exciting thing about these programs is that you are able to gain so much knowledge within a short period of time. Change is gradual, so you don't expect them to just change from the word go. But I know when you educate them in the right way, then everything is going to move on and everything is going to work out. I really connect with the statement of water is life. It's essential to live, um, but it connects so many different communities. You have a local body of water that has streams and rivers and coming in from all different places. So it's very like interconnected. It's an important time period where we're learning to live differently with water as it's becoming a resource that is always clean. A lot of the work around the Anacostia is centered around really giving that resource back to the community. We use soccer to introduce concepts of water use, pollution, filtration, to empower them to safely interact with the Anacostia and to really understand its impact and reach in their community. At DC Scores, we serve more than 3,000 young people in over 60 schools across Washington, DC. We focus on soccer, poetry, and service learning. Our program creates teams of poet athletes who use their voices to express themselves. I want water. Water is life and refreshing. I hear waves while I'm at the beach. I wonder if I'm kind of change and having more water. I think it's really great how the kids engage today, how much accountability they're taking just by taking on this information and learning how they can play a role. The river is actually swimmable now when it's not raining, so they're supposed to be like the first swim on the Anacostia in 50 years and soon. There's a lot of like joy and kind of reclaiming of the river that's kind of happening now, and I hope that the kids are able to engage in it in a way that maybe when Growing up or a couple of years ago, they didn't think about going in the river or being on the river um, like maybe they're able to now. Their voice matters and it may feel like they have been left a burdensome task to kind of take on. But what I've seen in our youth is that they're incredibly inspiring and innovative and creative. And I think they have the solutions we need to move forward. Let's go, let's go! Woo, woo, woo is really important to the future of the river and the water resource in general. Water uh, like life get too important. So water in there, I don't survive. Man, I can't. like clean and hygiene. I water. I use more. Like our life, too much healthy. I get it. Andre. Number one, the water. Number two, the like water. Like drainage water. Matte dirty water. Like mixer. Part. 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 Hey, our community water has too limited, limited, limited water. So water is like weekly once in and then ten days once, once water tank can. So our tank can in water na like ten days storage more panna gaya. Complete week full gaya. Ado you know like starting ya na mujhe water fresh aaye gaya. Ta ta water ro like thirty or more chance, more chances. Ado ado kira water management ta make issues too much gaya. So water main match on ekko matte water main ke same more gaya karu. ಸೊಟ್ ನಾವು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆ
ನಾವು ಚಿಕ್ಕ ವಯಸ್ಸಿಂದಾನೆ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಅಂದರೆ ತುಂಬ ಆಸೆ ಇತ್ತು ನಾನು ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಆಡಪ್ಪ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಮನೆ ಹತ್ರ ಹುಡುಗರಿಂದ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸನ್ನ ಕರ್ಕೊಂಡು ಫುಟ್ಬಾಲ್ ಆಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅದರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆ ಸೆಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮುಗ್ದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸೊ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ತ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಐಜಿನ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಡ ಆ ಒಂದು ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ಸನ್ನು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ದೆನ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ಲೈಕ್ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಐಜಿನ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ವಾಟರ್ನ ಮತ್ತು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ವಾಟರ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾನೆ ದೆನ್ ಆ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ಕಲ್ತ್ಕೊಂಡೋ ತಾಗಿರ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೂಡ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ಟೈಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ದೆನ್ ಅದರಿಂದ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ನೀರು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಮತ್ತು ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಏರಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ನನ್ನ ಕಾ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿ ಡಾರಿಗೆ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಸೊ ಈ ಏರಿಯಾ ನಾನು ಲೈಕ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಮತ್ತು ಈ ಏರಿಯಾದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದುಬಿಟ್ಟು ಸೊ ದಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಜನ್ರೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಮತ್ತು Las problemáticas que tenemos en esta comunidad es el mal uso del agua. A esto se le suma eh, que tiramos basuras, estas basuras han llegado a nuestros espacios, a nuestras canchas, a nuestros espacios de trabajo. La va a transportar hacia la otra comunidad. ¡Esto, excelente! Mi nombre es María Valencia, líder comunitaria de aquí del barrio El Pueblo. Eh, aquí llevamos muchos años Eh, con esta problemática de las basuras que las tiran en lugares donde no se debe tirar porque hacen taponamiento ya. Y al llover estas basuras lo que generan es agua estancada. Estas aguas se convierten en mosquitos, en dengue, que por, por ende pues afectan a nuestros niños. Muy bien, muy bien, dele, siga, siga, no pare, dele. Bueno, nuestra solución a esta problemática es el buen uso del agua, el eh, tener nuestro espacio seguro con respecto a la basura. Eh, invitamos a toda nuestra comunidad a campañas de limpieza para que tenga un buen uso de este espacio que de pronto hoy vemos, pero así como este tenemos muchos otros. Hacemos esto porque nos gusta. Eh, pintamos nuestro lugar seguro, recogemos basura, la colocamos en los sitios adecuados, pero también es invitación de, de conciencia, de amor propio por nuestro lugar. Esto que hacemos hoy lo hacemos en pro de nuestra comunidad. Y aquí en nuestra comunidad pues es que no tenemos acceso a agua potable. Muchas veces nuestros chicos vienen y en la casa hacen falta agua y vienen con esa problemática, lo cual nosotros como entrenadores nos toca recurrir. Listo chicos, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo están? Eh, las soluciones que le estamos brindando es que por medio de juegos y fútbol estamos enseñándole a los chicos de qué manera pueden ellos aportar al medio ambiente cuidando el agua. Eh, lo que esperamos con ellos es que tomen de verdad esa conciencia ambiental cuidando el preciado líquido y se puedan sumar a, al cuidado del medio ambiente. Le ponemos color, como también le ponemos corazón a todo lo que hacemos. 